everyone, it's Dominique. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Lunar Light Tarot. I'm coming to you all with a short video today. I actually plan to have a longer one up on Friday, but I was just a little low energy. I didn't get the time to sit down and make a long video, but I did want to come on and do a short general for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about what is going on around you, how are people currently viewing you, and generally, what do you need to know? No, okay, so I did already pray and shuffle over all of the cards and I'm just looking at the bottom of the decks here. I thought there was already a story going on. So I thought we could get into that first. Okay, so with the judgment, like what's going on around you? I just feel like you are being noticed. Like people are trying to actually make a decision about you is what I'm feeling. Okay, there can be a lot of people around you who are generally trying to make decisions right now as well, or they're trying to choose a different path in life. But I also feel like at the same time, these people could be noticing you. I just feel like you come across to people as someone who's got it figured out in some way or got something figured out, okay? Even if you're still trying to, you know, make moves in your own life, it's like I peeked underneath the deck here and I saw that we had the judgment card with the cherry in reverse and the ten of pentacles. This to me is that people are kind of questioning or they're very intrigued by how you've chosen an unconventional path an unconventional way forward to some kind of success that you have in life with this ten of pentacles or just some kind of stability that others feel like you're experiencing okay now this could be this could be stability in a lot of different ways this could be you know financial stability it could be mental stability it could be emotional stability like people are looking at you and kind of feeling like wow this person has it you know kind of together um in some capacity here okay hmm it's like rest okay and they also had someone X has their eyes on you. I just feel like this confirmed the fact that people are kind of looking at you at this point. Now, this could be mutuals. It could be exes of people that you've dated. It could be your ex who has their eyes on you. I'm also feeling like um, ex friends at this time. People, especially people who are going through a transition for some reason are kind of like looking at you right now and that's what's going on around you okay people are seeing that you are sweet caring considerate and genuine you're just a nice person to be around but underneath that people also feel like you are like distant okay and like maybe emotionally unavailable some people may question like this this sweet and caring considerate um, persona that you have and they're like okay is this person like what's really going on behind the scenes of this person I'm just picking up on all of that okay and then over here with these small archives which we're going to touch on all of these decks a little bit later I saw on top here oh so you think you're better than me that's what I knew I had to record the bottom of the deck so I was like okay all right <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy oh so you think you're better than me this is when I kind of also knew that this spread was talking about other people are noticing you. Other people are kind of deciding what they think about you. It's like with this card here, make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. I feel like people, like what's going on around you is that maybe you're transforming at a rate where people can't decide what they think about you, okay? People cannot decide what to think about you. Also, you could have attractive legs, okay? <laughs> Sexy legs. <laughs> that also came up. So let's go ahead and actually dive into these cards. I'm just going to pull a few of each. And then I'll save a longer video for you guys on Friday, okay? So let's go ahead. Zoom out a little bit. And yeah, let's see like what is going on around you. What do you need to know? And how are people viewing you? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Well, people are seeing you as someone who is very, very busy, okay? You have a lot of things going on. Um, you're someone who's juggling a lot at the moment, or you have a lot of responsibilities. That's what people kind of think about you right now. I also feel like, hmm, what's going on around you also is that there could be someone who is debating on whether they want to give you a cup of love or they want to like make you some kind of offer that right, there could be someone like who's kind of waiting in the wings a little bit to to try and ask you out okay this is what it feels like or like have some kind of conversation with you okay 
Hmm, interesting. Um, I feel that like people, again, I'm getting two sides to this, like how people view you and then also what's kind of happening um, with this person like waiting in the wings. And on your side, people feel like you're really busy and also have found a lot of, um, I would say like peace and emotional contentment in your life. Like people feel like you're emotionally content even though you have a lot going on, okay? Wow, more about this person who wants to come in. So there is actually someone who is waiting for the right time and they feel like the time is going to be soon to reach out to you and like, to say something to you. I wonder, okay, can we, can we tell me more about this person, Divine Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Okay, oh, we have the Fool. I feel like this was someone who could have been foolish with you in the past and they could have gave given you an offer that was too small in the past with the page of pentacles in reverse it's like maybe this person acted recklessly recklessly with the relationship previously and kind of like didn't hold on to a relationship with you now they're debating on coming back into your life okay so you have someone that's that's what's happening around you as well oh my gosh let's pull some more on this and then i will get a different scenario okay let's see what have we got on this <laughs> divine source what can you tell us what can you tell us about this person who wants to talk to the viewer what can you do oh okay but what just came up <laughs> it says wants to message you taking their time missing you Sometimes they just come up in like flash in the top of the deck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's literally someone who wants to message you, um, but they feel like they don't, they're waiting for the right time to do this. And they're kind of feeling apprehensive or like hesitant because of this foolish mistake. I feel like something ha happened in the past. Okay, maybe they're when they were younger. Um, it says, I underestimated you, you made it out the mud. Ooh, okay. And on the back, it says insecure, controlling, short-tempered, unhealed. So this could be this, I mean, it could be this person. It could be this person. Um, They could have also wanted to make you feel insecure, this person, and that actually did not work. And that's why they're saying, I, I underestimated you. You got out of that trap I set for you. Like I set you up to feel a certain way. That's what I'm, that's actually what I'm channeling. This person could have tried like with the, with the full card here. Maybe this person acted recklessly in the relationship, um, you know, because they wanted you to feel some type of way, you know, low key. And they did that. Okay. Look, you have, you make life more exciting. And I don't know why we're not speaking. Okay. Yeah. So there's definitely someone who wants to message you. Um, they're acting like they don't know why you guys are not speaking. That could be they're saying that to other people or they genuinely do not know why you guys are not speaking. Okay. That is so interesting. You know, let's just get a few of these multicolored cards on this and then I will move on to a different scenario. Okay. I feel like I can't help but take this one. We have You're So Fun to Have Around, Life at the Party. Yeah, because we just had you make life more exciting. So this is how this person feels about you. You're doing amazingly, give yourself more credit. I feel like this person wants to come back in because they're actually seeing how much self-love you have and how busy you are. Like that's part of the appeal. <laughs> of course, like, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Look, oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out because it says, I find your story inspirational. You beat the odds. Literally, you made it out of the mud. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so this person, they just felt like I didn't, I didn't anticipate you to rise to the occasion or maybe to like leave this person alone if you guys are in separation, that kind of thing. Or just to like, honestly, what I'm getting, they didn't expect you to kind of boss up and do your own thing and like live your own life and be very happy. Like it seems like you, to this person, it seems like you're very happy right now. I'm just gonna leave this right here, okay? And then we're actually just gonna get something else, okay? Let's see if we can get a different storyline. Okay, what is going on around the viewer currently? What is going on around the viewer and how are people viewing them? I'm getting that people have the hots for you, okay? With the Ace of Wands coming up underneath, people definitely have the hots for you right now. What is going on around the viewer? 
What do they need to know? Divine source. Thank you. What is going on around the viewer? Okay. Oh, another ace. Oh my gosh. So we saw the ace of wands that went back in the deck. We already have the ace of cups. Hmm. Okay. I'll put these back. I was deciding really quick. Okay. All right. So the ace of swords. Hmm. I do feel like people are having conversations. They could be having conversations about you. Some people could be trying to tell the truth about you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Because we have the moon in reverse here. Um, people are trying to talk about your life right now. And I can't, I can't say yet whether it's positive or negative. I feel like people are trying to, Ooh, it's positive. <laughs> okay. I like it. It's positive. Um, this was something that people previously did not want to get out. There is a truth about you. There's a truth about, um, Maybe, maybe if there have been people who are trying to like twist the truth about your life or say, uh, you know, yeah, twist the truth or spread lies, even, you know, God forbid, there could have been, there could have been a scenario in which someone wanted to minimize their role in whatever happened and maximize like you looking bad or something like that, you know, twisting the truth, that kind of thing. It's like, it's like previously, this was a secret that was heavily guarded, you know? Like the truth about something, the truth about something about you, okay? That this could, I'm getting that this is a rumor that's like bursting, you know? Gossip that, you know, is being disproven, that kind of thing. So someone fought pretty hard to keep some kind of secret about you to themselves, keep the details of an event very blurry um, to, you know, keep people from knowing what was really going on with you when they were telling narratives about you. And now the truth is coming out about whatever happened, about whatever, what, how, what kind of person you are. And not only is it just coming out in the way like people are saying it, but people are noticing your blessings and they're like, okay, well, how's this person, this type of person when they're, when they're, when they're not receiving the bad karma that you insinuated this person would get? Like the, they're you, the viewer, people feel like you're on the come up right now with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Like they feel like you're just leveled up, honestly, like with the self-love and it feels like it's reflecting on the outside, maybe in your confidence as well. You could be just leveled up in your confidence or in your stability in some way. Some of you could be like moving as well. Um, or like you're decorating your home. Some of you could have just gotten like a promotion, any of, any of those kind of energies. People are really noticing this right now and they're like okay well if this secret where you're whatever you're saying is as bad as it was and you're like oh yeah this person did me dirty then why are they doing so well <laughs> and like being blessed pretty much and you know kept re reaping good karma it doesn't make sense like you sow what you reap so if they sowed this then why are they reaping the ace of pentacles it doesn't make sense so that's what's happening around you right now so there's gossip that is being disproven about you Oop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did see the hater card came out. I'm not going to like go ahead and take it because I already put it back in the in the deck. But yeah, there was the hater card that I noticed. And then I had to stop here. I mean, look, mask wear, dishonest, smoke and mirrors. You also had you are so beautiful that came out. It came out in reverse. Um, the person who was spreading rumors about you could have been someone who found you attractive, but they didn't want to let you know that. Could be someone like that. Um, and that could be maybe something that they could have been, this could be even a jealousy thing with it being in reverse. Okay. Um, yeah. Someone could even been jealous of your dating life. They have, let's go on a date and it comes up in reverse. Okay. So this could have been someone who, <laughs> not, not me with, with the card, but yeah, um, this could have been someone who was a little bit jealous of your beauty or your um, dating prospects. Okay. You also have take mixed signals as a no. This could have been someone that you friend zoned. Okay, um, this could be also be someone who noticed that you had higher standards in them and you you take mixed signals as a no. And I feel like they didn't like that. I guess what I'm getting intuitively. Oh, on the back. You're the sexiest person I know. Come on now. <laughs> I'm trying to say, yeah, whoever this person was that's actually spreading like mistruths about you 
lies the lies <laughs> i'm like trying to avoid the word lies but oh gosh that's just sad but yeah they are I actually find you really attractive so <laughs> oops that's a tea for sure so they tried to make you out to be someone who was dishonest uh, but the smoke and mirrors is clearing and people are actually seeing that they were the ones who were like muddling the truth and you know not not telling details of events like it just doesn't make sense okay it's kind of coming out that you're not that way with this like secret coming out hmm let's see what else i can get from here and i think after this we'll get one more scenario and then i'm gonna probably pull some advice we'll see i know what to say to make you want me um i just feel like i'm getting i'm getting intuitively that this person knew what to say to me people believe the story that they wove about you like believe this narrative like they knew what to say um yeah definitely that is interesting um we also have if you were to trade places you see how difficult it really was um you know what's happening around you this person who you know was maybe trying to twist the truth about you they were actually in a, like a, a bad place at the time um that's what i'm getting like they were in a difficult place and it's not an excuse it's definitely not an excuse um but they kind of like hurt someone who was maybe close to them or like they wanted to be close to at some point like with you they also have you're my best friend in reverse so at the back because i have them like flipped here so yeah i mean this could be someone who was an ex-friend as well um this could be someone you know honestly it kind of does give that energy it kind of does give friend friend zone um friend energy yeah it also gives like x it also gives x energy um we had beard body hair and facial hair at the top of the deck so this would be someone with those attributes who was facing the truth or was involved in the situation okay or it doesn't have to be that's fine too <laughs> like not every little thing might resonate okay let's see if we can get anything from here and then we're going to move on to like a last topic you're so hot and cold what do you really think of me I just feel like, oh, it's really interesting. I just feel like this person, they kind of wanted maybe confirmation that, I don't, I don't make, let me, let me know if this resonates. Confirmation that you two were on the same page or on the same level, quote unquote, or that you liked them. Um, and maybe, yeah, you were someone who was kind of cool. Like, cause wait, what did we have before? Where's the take mixed signals as a no? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, take mixed signals as a no. Like this person could have just felt like you were either giving them mixed signals and took that as a no, or they could feel like you're someone who cuts people off easily and you don't take mixed signals as a no. And it's just like, you know, they kind of wanted you to, oh God, I feel bad about this, but they wanted you to kind of validate them in some way. And just let me know if this resonates, y'all. Okay, you pull me in like a siren. Now, this, this is someone who was attracted to you in some way, even if it was someone, you know, like isn't attracted to your your sex. Um, you know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but your gender, um, they they were still still on. They still were like you were the exception. <laughs> I'm really getting that. And I can't believe you walked away. I'm missing you. Oh, yeah, that is really interesting. So I think we're going to leave it at that. OK, and I'm going to go ahead and get one last scenario. And also in that, I'm going to pull, like, what are people finding to be attractive about you right now? You know what? I think we might just do that. <laughs> that, might, that might just be the question. Like, what are people are finding? What are people finding attractive about you right now? Okay. I'm really curious about that. I hope you all are enjoying this general read. Let me know if I should do longer reads like this. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here really quick before, you know, for Wednesday, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about it. What are people finding attractive about you right now? What are people finding attractive about the viewer right now? Ooh, people like your mindset. People feel like you're someone who's freed themselves from limited thinking. It's like you don't put a lot of limits on yourself. You know, when someone approaches you with an opportunity, you're like, I could probably do that. I could probably learn that. <laughs> and yeah, where most people, well, not most people, but where some people might feel like, oh, you know, like I'm not cut out for this. 
you'll really, you'll take a risk and you'll go there and you'll let, I'm going to just learn along the way. Other people find attractive about you. Also, people find it, it attractive that you don't stay in situations that are draining. You find a way out, like you find a way forward. You don't let obstacles stop you. Okay. You have the page of wands. I just feel like there are there are some people who have crushes on you. Like you're pretty easy to crush on. Um, there are some people who, you know, just like find you attractive, like find you cute, who are around. Um, people also like you because you have the sense of like adventure. You could like to travel or, you know, it doesn't have to be even far away, but you like to try new things as well. That's what I'm trying to say. You have to try new things, you like to travel. Um, you could like to, you know, like try new foods, like that kind of thing. It seems like you're very adventurous, like you're not afraid to be a risk taker. And people find attractive. Yeah, you will leave. You will pick up and leave. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know why, but people kind of like that a lot. People like that you do things different um then maybe they've seen others do it or you have your own like style of way of living life it's not that we you know should shouldn't put effort into the relationships or that we should you know um I, I do believe there is a way to give grace and you know to try and see things through but obviously when that doesn't work like you got to pack up and go <laughs> and that's what you'd be doing so people like that um people like that you're not afraid to pack a bag and travel you're not afraid to you know um pack a believer relationship like <laughs> you're very independent that's what's coming up like you're very independent people like that you've gone through many phases in your life um they like what well, they find it attractive that you're a very hard worker um, and also, hmm, what am I, what is, what is this trying to say? The f four pentacles in reverse. Um, actually, this one's like, you know how to let go. Yeah, you know how to let life flow and like allow. Again, with that page of wands on top, like you have that sense of adventure. So you're not afraid, to, you don't, you don't hold on to things too tightly. People notice that and they actually find that to be attractive it's almost like because you don't hold on to things so tightly, like you attract a lot of things to you because you, what I'm hearing is that you found home in yourself. You found home in yourself. And that's what people find very attractive. Home is where the heart is, right? So yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and check these out. Guys, oh my gosh, do you see this? God or goddess, divine energy, chosen one, living purpose. I have not seen this card in months. I will tell you that. It's been buried in the deck. I It literally just flew out. That is wild. Oh my gosh, this is what people find so attractive about you. It's your energy. It's not on you, it's in you. And you shine so bright, so bright. Okay, and then we have um, spiritualist, healer, witch, spell worker, angelic persona. You have this angelic persona. This is what people are noticing on the, you know, like a conversation level, like getting to know you level. Maybe somebody who knows you personally would be like, oh, this person's a spiritualist or, you know, they kind of have that healer energy. People would say that you have like a healer's energy. Maybe you get that a lot. People ask you if you work in the medical field, like that kind of thing, okay? People feel like your your touch and your energy, like just being around you is very uplifting. It's very calming. Um, you maybe have a way of like calming people down or talking to people that others really enjoy. I'm getting that you're also a really great conversationalist. People really enjoy your conversations. They enjoy your eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, speaking of eyes, evil eye. Oh my God. So this is also happening. Um, but we also have sweetheart, genuine, down to earth literally oh my gosh people just love this about you they really do you have such a, a way about you and i picking up that you have a lot of grace like a lot of poise like people just feel like you i don't know you just yeah you really just have a vibe like kind of have it together i don't know why it's kind of giving 90 supermodels i know i'm gassing all but i really can't help it that's honestly the image that came to mind because you know how they just have this like way of walking the way of like looking around the room and taking note of things like and it's so special like i mean from what i know there hasn't really been an era like that in modeling 
since, you know? So that's kind of the way that some people feel about you is like you have an aura and an essence that is rare. Like it's, it's something that's really tangible. It's noticeable. You know, people, if you look back at modeling history, you can tell the nineties were like, I mean, you know, fashion's always been pretty cool, but the nineties were definitely a standout time in terms of supermodels. I think, I believe. Anyway, anyway, then we have evil eye, spell work, talking shit. <laughs> I just feel like this is side, like this is kind of a side message. I do feel like because you have this energy, like, you know, just watch out because some people could be, you know, sending you evil eye your way. They could be talking ish about you. Um, you may want to do, you know, your cleanses, keep up with your spiritual hygiene. Um, you can cleanse by using incense, by using intention, like Reiki with your hands. You can use crystals and egg cleanse, like all kinds of things you can use. Um, Palo Santo. But uh, yeah, oh my gosh, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and get some physical traits. Let's see what physical traits people are finding to be attractive about you. Specifically, <laughs> if you guys liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Become an OG. That's what my subscribers are called. Oh, okay, just felt everywhere. And yeah, I also have a TikTok and a website as well. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can book over there. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Flirting skills. Oh my gosh, people like your flirting skills. What is attractive about the viewer? Yeah, it's that way of talking. Cute face. Okay, we like it. Full package. Oh my God, I'm trying to tell you, like, it's not just one thing. It really is inside out. And that's what makes you the full package. Is that you, you have that the inside thing as well. Sexy legs. Of course that comes up again because that was at the bottom of the deck today. Stunning face. Wow, stunning. Love it. Okay, so that is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and just pull a few cards from this Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. And honestly, let's just get like your current vibe and like what's happening next. Okay, these are pretty good for predictions. So let's see the current vibe of the viewer and what's happening next. And we'll close out like that. Current vibe and what's happening next. Okay, set your sight higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. <laughs> if that isn't the current vibe, I'm just saying <laughs> that definitely makes sense. I feel like you're already in this energy. You're already, um, oh my gosh, what just came out? You're already in this energy of wanting more for yourself and looking for those opportunities to expand, you know? So, since you are looking, oh my gosh, this is so perfect what came out. Okay, so we have make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. This is like either now or in the near future that you are setting your sights on an, I think an avenue for you to achieve one of your goals. And I feel like you're making a wish towards that. It's like something that you want or a manifestation that you're trying to bring in. I just feel like you are seeing evidence that is starting to come in. Okay. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it's starting to get closer. And then next, oh my gosh, this is why I started to freak out because we have blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So it's like you make a wish and literally you get it. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying like, this is so wonderful. And it just came out right away. So yeah, you're literally setting your sights higher. You're, you're ready to make that leap. And I feel like the arms here are so similar, by the way. They're both reaching for something. And they're both mermaids. Well, this is a magical mermaid's deck. Let me not get carried away. But <laughs> they're both reaching for something, right? You're making that wish. You're like touching that new idea that you're touching that new avenue. You're like, oh my God, it could, it could happen this way. Or I could definitely make this happen. And then, oh my gosh, it really is going to happen. So I feel like this is trying to tell you that a wish of yours is going to come true. Oh my gosh. Look, and definitely look, pay attention. Notice repetitious signs in your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. Maybe you are actually seeing signs of this right now. Uh, maybe it's not just this video that's been telling you that like, oh my God, there's a wish coming true happen. It could be on your, you know, TikTok for you page. If you're, if you're on that, you could be seeing that um, on TV or like billboards. People could be talking to you about opportunities and you're feeling like really aligned with a particular one and 
you know, like things are working out and kind of falling into place really well lately for you. It's not just a coincidence. It's definitely building energy. It's definitely a momentum that's happening here. So, oh my gosh, I felt like that was an awesome read. I really hope that y'all felt the same or let me know what you think down below. Love to hear your thoughts on this and how it resonated with you. Thanks so much for watching till the very end of the video. I will be back again for a video on Friday. So I will see you then. Okay. Love and light. Bye. Thank you.